Hey everyone, in this tutorial we are going to show you how to use Timboo to create Internet of Things type applications with our Wi-Fi connected launch pad and our open source IDE. Timboo and Texas Instruments have partnered to make it easy for you to connect your TI launch pad to over 100 web-based resources and services by standardizing how you interact with their application programming interfaces, also known as APIs. Timbu handles all the details of the API by generating Energia compatible code, so you don't worry if you aren't familiar with APIs. TI Launchpads, connected with the power of Timbu, allows you to quickly send an SMS text message using Twilio, send an email from your Gmail account, or track your FedEx packages along with many other things. In order to implement this tutorial, we'll be using the CC3100 Simple Link Wi Fi Booster Pack paired with the MSP430 F5529 Launchpad. We'll also be interacting with a Grove rotary angle sensor that is acting as a basic potentiometer. To interface with the Grove module, we will be using the new Grove Module Booster Pack designed for Launchpad. We will use the Grove sensor to provide a generic value that we can use to trigger different events. In this demonstration, we will trigger three events after exceeding a certain threshold. Our first event is triggered by exceeding a threshold of 1000, and we will then log the event in a Google Drive spreadsheet. Once we exceed 2000, we will send an email from your Gmail account to an account of your choice, and once we exceed 3000, we will send an SMS text message using Twilio. You can also implement this demonstration using the CC3200 SimpleLink Wi-Fi Launchpad as well. Now, let's get started. Before connecting your Launchpad to your computer, we will need to make sure to set up your Launchpad and hardware properly. In order to do this, please reference the CC3100 Boost Getting Started video. Now we are going to connect our Grove Rotary Angle Sensor to interact with our Launchpad through the use of the Grove Module Booster Pack designed for Launchpad. Our Booster Pack is connected below our Launchpad. We will connect our Grove Module Sensor to port J6A. Behind the connector, you can see the pins that are associated with this port. In our case, we will have data coming through the yellow wire, so we will want to read pin 24 in our program. Now our hardware should be set up. Now that we have our hardware set up, we can connect our launchpad to the computer over USB. At this point, we should start our Energia program. Once loaded, we can go to the top and click Tools, Board, and set our board to Launchpad with MSP430 F5529 25 MHz tab. This sets the target that we want to compile our code to. Under Tools, Serial Port, we should select the COM port that our launchpad is connected with. Now we can begin to work with Timboo. First, sign up for an account with Timboo. Once logged into Timboo, we can see a full variety of APIs that are exposed by Timboo. To start, if we click on Twilio, SMS Messages, Send SMS, we notice that we are required to fill a few fields in order to start interacting with the API. When using any API, you are going to be required to sign up for a developer's account associated with that API to receive an account SID and or token or any other required credentials that may be needed to interact with that API. At this point, we need to turn IoT mode on. This enables us to generate code towards the launch pad. To the left of the IoT mode switch, we see two drop down menus. Select Texas Instruments Launch Pad in the first drop down, and in the second, we will create a new connection that will hold the details to the wireless connection that we wish to connect to. Once we have entered our parameters into the correct fields, we can scroll down the page and view the generated code for us to use. These code sections are split up to two files. One, a code file that acts as our main file, and a header file which holds the details to our Timbu account and our Wi-Fi information. We can simulate the code by clicking the Run button on the Timbu website. At the bottom of the box that contains the code, there is a Copy button. Click this 
and it will copy the code in the box to your clipboard. First, copy the code file and go to Energia and replace the code that is present in your sketch with the code on your clipboard. Save the file. Then, at the right of the screen on Energia, click the small drop-down arrow and select New Tab. This will prompt you to name the new file. We want to name this new file tembuaccount.h. Go back to Tembu and copy the header file code onto your clipboard and replace the code in the file that you just created. By default, Tembu generates the code to where it executes an action slash execution every 30 seconds. This is controlled by the delay function. In order to tailor this code towards our application, you will need to edit the code accordingly. Here is our final application. You can see that we have our two files named demo app and timboo.account.h. For now, we will focus on the demo app file. Let's quickly run through how I have structured the code. The first thing we should note is that we have to create a few values to track and hold data. In the setup function, we first initialize and begin our serial communication at 9600 baud. In order to read data from our Grove module, we need to set our pin mode for pin 24 as an input. Next, I have created a new function that holds all of the commands that starts our Wi-Fi connection. This function is defined lower down in the file. All of this code was generated by Timboo. The structure of our loop is again a little more simplified by placing the API calls that are generated by Timboo into separate functions such as log data, send email, and send SMS. The first line reads a value from our sensor and is followed by a quick printout of what our value was measured as. After that, we have a structure of if statements that determine if and what action should be triggered. If our value goes between 1000 and 2000, we log the data to Google Drive. If the value exceeds 2000 and stays below 3000, we send an email to an account that you designated. If our value exceeds 3000, we will send an SMS text message using Twilio. For the purpose of this demo, I have also included variables to ensure that data, texts, and emails are not sent more than once. If we quickly take a look at timboaccount.h, we notice that the details of our Timboo account and our Wi-Fi information are held in this file. It is frequently referenced by our demo app file. Now we are ready to flash our program to our device by clicking this red arrow. Our code will compile down to the standard that our MSP430 F5529 launchpad can interpret. As this compiles, click the Serial Monitor button to open our serial monitor on the start of our program. At first, our program will connect to Wi-Fi. Usually, the first try will be unsuccessful, but after that, our program should connect. Once connected, we will start streaming values from our sensor. As I turn our Grove Angle sensor to a greater degree, we will see the values increase. Once we hit 1000, our program will start to interact with Timboo and execute the necessary code to post our event to our Google Drive spreadsheet. As you can see here, we logged an event into Google Drive. After the Google Drive data log event occurs, we will go back to streaming data from our sensor. If we continue increasing our value of our sensor to just above 2000, we will trigger an email. A program has detected a value above 2000. It's executing an email. And now I have a new notification on my phone from an email detailing that an event has occurred. Again, after these calls complete, we will go back to streaming and will continue to increase our value to 3000. Once we pass the threshold of 3000, we notice that our system is calling our Twilio SMS API code. I should soon get a text detailing an event has occurred. And there it is. And that's it. As you can see, TI Launchpad with the power of Timboo is a very powerful combination. 
It allows you to take your launch pad and make it even smarter by providing it the capabilities of the cloud. Whether you want to use your launch pad to do periodic data logging into Google Drive or send alerts or warnings using Twilio, there are an endless amount of applications that can be conquered using Launchpad. To learn more, visit www.energia.nu and www.timboo.com slash hardware slash ti for more information.